Hi, I'm Diane Petternell from Minecraft Studio. I'm here to show you some of the simple things that you can do with the graphics program just to get you started. We've got an incredible download that we've created for you to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Minecraft Studio. So let's have a go and let's uh, get working with the graphics program. Once you've installed the Minecraft Studio graphics program onto your computer and you open it up, this is the screen that you'll see. So the white area in the centre is an A4 page. It can be A3 or A6, depending on the sizes your printer will take. And then over to the left-hand side, we have the box that's got the folders in it. We see the My Artwork folder and click on the plus beside it. You can see we have the Micro Studio download in there. When we click on that one, then the images for the download will appear in the box below. So to get an image onto the page, all we do is click with the mouse, drag and drop, and there are the images for you. And you can do that with any of the designs in there. I've brought one of the backgrounds onto the page. I just want to show you how quickly and easily you can change the colour with Minecraft Studio. So I've brought one of the backing papers onto the page, and then just above where we've got all the files, we've got an effects tab. Each one of these sliders does something different, so there's lots and lots of features within Minecraft Studio, but the main thing that people want to know is how to change the colour. We've got a section called colour, and if we move the hue slider, you'll see that on this backing paper, it changes from shades of red to greens to yellows to blues to purples and goes all the way through the colour wheel. So it changes in real time, so as soon as you get to a shade that you like, just stop moving the mouse, print it out, and that's the colour that will appear on your screen and on your printer. If we go to the brightness slider, we can make the design pastel, so you can see we can bring the colours down or we can make it a bit darker, and we can also increase the saturation to get some real nice jewel tones in there as well. So that's how we change the colour with Minecraft Studio. But don't worry, if we move the slider all the way back across to the beginning, then we're back at the original colourway. One of the other things I love about Micro Studio is that you can have any design in any size. Now, when we say any size, we literally mean any size because if you pop your mouse over the corner, you'll see it changes from a regular mouse to a double arrow. We click and drag, and we drag away from the image to make it larger, but you'll see we're going in the smallest increment, so we're going in 0 0.2, 0 0.1 of a centimetre, and you can go as precise as you like. Now, we literally click and drag, and you can see there we're making it bigger. We drag towards the image to make it smaller, and you can see we're working in centimetres at the moment, but if we come down to the bottom of the page, we can click in inches, and then when we move, resize the image, you'll see we're working in inches. You can see you can be as precise as you like when you're resizing the images, so that you get the perfect size for the project that you're working on. One of my favourite features within Minecraft Studio is the tile feature. So everybody loves it and it makes everybody go wow the first time they see it. I'm going to pop this little teddy bear up in the top left corner. That's just my preference, you don't have to do that. I'm going to resize him a little bit. And then up above we've got the image tool section. When you click the tile button, the white box has changed to blue. And then instead of stretching the teddy bear, we're actually going to replicate him. So we're creating our own unique backing paper, completely bespoke to you, in a couple of clicks. Now the main thing to remember with Minecraft Studio is you can't break the files because we've resized this teddy bear and we've turned him into a backing paper. We could have changed the colour of him, we could have actually cropped him and, and taken a section out. If you press delete over this side, so we've got the button up at the top that says delete, press that one, he's gone. He hasn't gone forever because within the section over on the left hand side you've always got the original file. Just have a play, you're not wasting ink, you're not wasting paper until you actually press the print button, so play with Minecraft Studio use all the different features, make your designs your own, and get crafty. So I hope you've seen how easy it is to use Minecraft Studio. It really, really is easy. It's um, created for crafters so that you can get on with the paper crafting. So go to the link below, have a look at some other Minecraft Studio products, and I'll see you again soon.